Praise the Lord. Yes, God, God bless you, Sister Carol Bell, Evangelist Sheila Pettiford. Really out of High Point, North Carolina. God bless you. Welcome. Yes, God, Sunday morning. This is the day that the Lord has made. made we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Praise the Lord. Amen. Sister Claudia Brown and Ryan. Amen. Just like your yes, Lord. Cecil Simpson, God bless you. Grace and peace. Amen. Jeremiah chapter 33. Cindy Grant, God bless you. Jeremiah chapter 33 and verse 3, it says, uh, Call upon me, and I will answer thee, and show you great and mighty things that thou knowest not. Psalms 107, verse 1 and 2, it says, O oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, and his mercy endureth forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom ye have redeemed from the hands of the enemy. Amen. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 and 6. It says, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Lean not to thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. Psalms 27, verse 1. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. We go to the New Testament. Uh, Matthew 7 and verse 7. It says, Ask and it shall be given. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and the door shall be opened unto you. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Shawnette Francis, Bobby Haynes, the Lord bless you. Amen. God is good. God is good. Amen. We thank him and we praise him this morning. Hallelujah. For another day that the Lord has blessed us to see. Amen. Amen. And we thank him and Here give him praise. Amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, New Testament again. Uh, I lost my sound. Uh, intimate. Oh, there we go. Amen. Uh, did I say Mark 11, 24? Therefore, whatsoever things you desire, when you pray, believe that you have received them. And you shall have them. Grace read. Amen. Carol Bell. Yes, it's freezing. <laughs> yes, it's, it's cold here in New York this morning. 
Praise the Lord. Amen. Psalms 23, 1. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let me back to the New Testament. Uh, Romans 10, verse 17. So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing the word of God. Amen. Ephesians 3 and verse 20. Now unto him that is able to do exceeding and abundantly above all that you can ask or think according to the power that worketh in you. Praise the Lord. 1 John 4 verse 18. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casteth out fear, for fear has torment. So he that feareth is not made perfect in love. Amen. Praise the Lord. Scripture for declaration. 2 Timothy chapter 1 and verse uh, 7. For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Praise the Lord. Amen. We thank God for that today. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, St. John 14 and verse 6. Jesus said unto them, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Praise the Lord. Amen. I hope that's right. <laughs> I know that I am the way, the truth, and the life. But I might have got a couple of words there off. But thank God for those of you that have joined us this Sunday morning. Today is March the 13th. And I hope that you spring forward on your clock. Amen. Praise the Lord. So right now it is 11. 27. Amen. I don't know exactly why they do that. <laughs> they said to give us another extra hour of daylight. But um, I don't know why they just couldn't be good enough alone. <laughs> but, uh, you know, man is always trying to do something. But anyway, we give God thanks and praise. Hallelujah. And you're supposed to have gotten an extra, you know, you lost an hour of sleep. Amen. And you know you need your beauty sleep. Praise the Lord. <laughs> but we thank God. We are here. We are awake. We are alive. And we're giving God thanks for his goodness towards us today. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, uh, Sister Gail Brown is here. Last week was her service. Amen. And she had a wonderful service. Praise the Lord. And we're going to give her here. Let her, amen, say something. And then we're going to um, talk a little bit. Amen. For our Sunday school lesson this morning. Praise the Lord. Praise Amen. the Lord, saints, and God bless you. Once again, this is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. I know I'm rejoicing, praise God, for every day that he gives me another chance, praise God. So glad to be here in Jesus' name, praise God. Thank God for each and every one of you that are joining us today as well, praise God. And I just want to say thank you again, praise God, for the service on last Sunday. For those of you that were able to watch over the air, some of you were able to give, praise God. I thank you very much. Some of you gave your blessings and your love and your prayers. And I thank you very, very much. I appreciate it. And it was good, praise God. It was encouraging, praise God. And I'm so grateful, praise God, to Bishop, praise God. He was my biggest supporter, praise God, putting out the service, praise God, advertising it and letting everyone know about it, praise God. I really thank God for it, praise God. Thank God for all those that put in an effort, praise God, to give me the service and to make my day. I truly appreciate it and I am very grateful and I was totally satisfied with everything. Praise God. God bless you all. And we're so glad to be here in Jesus' name. Another cold day, praise God. But we thank God for life, health, and strength, praise God. And we're standing on top of our grave this morning, praise God. So I give God thanks and praise for that. Amen. We're going to turn it over to Bishop. Amen. Praise the Lord. Yes, we give God thanks. Amen for that today. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. God has been so good to us during this week. Today, amen, 
I want to look for a scripture that I just, um, that was on my heart. And I believe it's Psalms 102. Praise the Lord. Amen. Psalms 102. Let me just look it up real quick right here. Psalms 102. Amen. And I just wanted to talk about favor. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let me see if I got the right scripture. Yes. Amen. Praise the Lord. Yes. Amen. Psalms 102 and verse uh, number 13. Uh, but before I get into the word of God, I just wanted to say that, um, you know, we want to continue to be in prayer for what's going on in our world around us. Yes. Amen. We see so much violence, especially here in New York City. The, the yeah. police department and everybody is trying to do something about the violence. But I don't know. Um, people just, um, there's a lot of, uh, you know, neglect of, for the mentally ill. Amen. And many of them are supposed to be on medication and they don't, um, they don't take their medication. And then they're susceptible to um, um, acts of violence. And some, one of them push um Somebody on the train, somebody, um, they punch people in the, in just walk by them and punch them for no reason. Amen. So many different things, um, happening today. And sometimes during all of that, you can kind of, uh, feel helpless and hopeless. Amen. But I, I pray that this scripture this morning, amen, will be a blessing unto you. Praise the Lord. Amen. And hopefully it will give you hope. Amen. And give you courage to face life, knowing that um, if God be for us, who can be against us? Amen. In the scripture here, let me pray. Father, we thank you this morning. We give you um, glory and honor. We thank you, Lord, for waking us up early this morning. Amen. Touching us with the finger of love. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. That we are your people. We have not chosen you, Lord, but you have chosen us and ordained us that we should go forth and bring forth fruit and the fruit would remain. We pray, dear Lord, today that you would speak and minister to someone today, Lord, as only you can. Amen. We cancel every assignment of the enemy today. In the name of Jesus, render him powerless and ineffective. Amen. The blood of Jesus be against the enemy now. We claim victory. Yes, Lord. Through the power of the cross, hallelujah, and the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, hallelujah. This we ask with thanksgiving in amen. Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. The scripture says in Psalms 102, amen, verse 13, amen. I just read one verse. It says, thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time to favor her. Yea, the set time is come. Praise the Lord. Amen. And I just wanted to talk a little bit about God's favor. Amen. Or favor. Praise the Lord. Uh, let me just leave it as God's favor. Praise the Lord. Sometimes, amen, when you go through life, life is faced with so many disappointments. It's faced um, in life, you're faced with so many challenges. And sometimes it makes you feel like... Um, you might have been abandoned or forsaken or rejected by God. Sometimes the enemy bombard your mind with, um, with thoughts of doubts and thoughts of fear. Amen. Of, of thoughts of feeling unloved, uh, feeling, praise God, that no one is on your side. Amen. But I thank God for the word of God. The word of God is truly a hiding, a hiding place. It is a place of refuge. It is a place where you can be restored yes. and be revived, amen, in the word of God, amen. And um, sometime, amen, I was, I was uh, feeling today, well, you know, as we going through this pandemic and the church has been through, the church has been rocked, amen. We have experienced, well, I can't speak for every church, but amen, some churches have been rocked by, you know, COVID deaths and Amen. Death in general. Praise the Lord. It seemed like there was a time there was almost a funeral like every week or every other week. Yes. Praise the Lord. And people were going away. And we are only human. And to say that you, wasn't, you weren't affected 
Um, well, if, I don't know everyone's situation, but I can speak personally as, as you know, we've been through so much and amen, going to so many funerals and so many people was asking me, Pastor Brown, amen, can you speak at this funeral? Can you um, let us borrow the church? We need to have a funeral and so many different things. And the enemy sometimes come to you and make you feel like, Amen. Instead of giving God praise and glory, you want to complain. Amen. Praise God. There's so much of grief and so much sorrows and so many tears and so much affliction. Amen. Like, like I, I, I said today, I remember one time I went on a prayer. They had a prayer, early morning prayer. And uh, the prayer leader was reading off um, the amount of people that were sick and that they were suffering. And um, um, as, after they read so many um, prayer requests and people that were writing in and calling in for prayer, and all I can do after the prayer was over, I just uh, sat in my chair and I was like, Lord, people are truly suffering. Amen. And I know we prayed for them. Amen. And Praise God. But there are still so many people that going through. Amen. But there are certain things. Amen. We need to remember. Amen. The Bible said in this verse, thou shall arise. Amen. And he's speaking about the Lord. And he said, and have mercy upon Zion. Praise God. And many times it's the mercy of God and the compassion of God upon us. Because many times we cannot earn or we don't even at many times deserve Um the favor of God, but God chooses to do it for us anyway. Praise the Lord. Amen. amen. And sometime, amen, we have to live life with the expectation that God is going to turn things around for me. Amen. God's going to turn things around in my favor. Praise God. On, on, on my 12 noon um, prayers, we usually have um, Tuesday and we call it Turnaround Tuesday. Amen. And sometimes you have to live life with the ex expectation that God is going to turn things around for you. Praise the Lord. You cannot move forward in the future filled with doubts, fear, unbelief. Amen. A negative attitude about self. You must, amen, regather yourself together. Amen. And believe God that the time that God will have mercy upon Zion. When God speaks about Zion, amen, it speaks about, um, it can be referred to as Jerusalem, but not necessarily, not necessarily physical Jerusalem. It speaks about, Zion speaks about a spiritual place that God has for his children. He calls it Zion. Praise God. It represents the people of God. It represents, amen, in the midst of the chaos and the confusion. Praise God. God has called out a people for himself. Amen. And God will have mercy upon Zion. Amen. amen. He said for the time to favor her. Amen. And I want to talk just a couple of minutes. We don't have much time, but I want to talk about the favor of God. Amen. You know, sometimes when you are in a bad uh, a situation, amen, you just need a little bit of favor. Praise God. There are certain people, praise God, that had favor in their life, but it didn't seem like favor at the time. When I think about Joseph, amen, received the coat of, of many colors from his father. Amen. He went to look for his brothers and instead of finding kindness and generosity, his brothers sold him into slavery down to um, the Egyptians and to Potiphar's house. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. And then at being in Potiphar's house, doing an a excellent job. Praise God. The Potiphar's wife goes and accuses him and Joseph ends up in prison. Praise God. But thank God, the favor of God, it endures. Amen. It stays with you. Praise God. God never left Joseph. God never rejected Joseph. God never abandoned Joseph, but it might have looked like it at the time. But praise God, the time came when they found Joseph in a prison. He still was 
using the gift that God gave him, amen, to interpret dreams. And because he interpreted Pharaoh's dream, he was removed from the prison and placed in a place of favor. Amen. And thank God for the favor of God, God's favor upon your life. Many times we could have been dead. Amen. But thank God for favor. Praise God. Many times the doctor give us up but thank God for favor. Yeah. Sometime, yeah. praise God, hallelujah, we were down to our last. I remember, praise God, many times, praise God, when my wife and I, we didn't have the money to pay the rent. Amen. And the landlord would come looking for their rent and we didn't have it. And I remember those times praying and say, Lord, I thought you called me. I thought your hand was on my life. I thought, amen, that you were the one that... um." Put this um, ministry upon me. And if you put it, how come I'm going through all of this right now? Amen. But uh, not knowing it at the time that God uh, had a, a favor was already destined for my life. And I didn't get it back then or I didn't feel like I got it back then. But God did give it, give it to me. I always give that testimony of that same landlord. Amen. That was after me, well, not after me, but came for their rent, which they they were right, amen, and coming for their rent, amen. But that same landlord, praise God, was a member of the church that I pastored, amen. And she was one of the um, faithful um, people in the church, a faithful tither, a faithful, amen, member of the church, praise God, hallelujah. But uh, there was a time when I owed her rent and I couldn't pay. Amen. But the God have the set time to favor Zion. Praise the Lord. Amen. I want you to know, praise God, that God's favor is for his people in Zion. Praise God. You, uh, you have a spiritual inheritance through Jesus Christ and you are a part of God's Zion. And it says, yea, the set time is come. Praise the Lord. There's going to be a release of increase in your finances. There's going to be blessing upon blessing. There's going to come a time where God bless you. And as the Bible said, you won't even have room enough to receive the blessing that God has for you. Praise the Lord. Amen. Many times, praise God, people might owe you money and you think they won't pay, but God have a set time when he will Amen. Repay you for, hallelujah, what you have done in the past. And we thank God for that today. God have a, a set time to favor Zion. Amen. Amen. He will watch over his word to perform it. Amen. God wants to give you favor like he did for Joseph. Favor like he did for, amen, Jesus. Favor like he did for Daniel. Amen. Favor like he did for the three Hebrew boys. Amen. The set time to favor Zion is come. Praise God. And we thank God for the favor of God. Amen. And today I release it upon each and every one of you today. And I know that you have been through a time where you felt abandoned, a time where you felt rejected, a time when you felt like nobody cares. But I'm here to let you know that God has going to set mercy upon you and God is going to favor you. Amen. I decree and declare the favor of God upon your life to bring you out of the pit of despair, to help you to rise above this depression and discouragement. Amen. To rise above that sickness that the enemy put on you to kill you. But I say, according to the word of God, that I shall live and not die to declare the works of the Lord. Amen. I decree and declare God's favor upon your life. Amen. Amen. That you will, praise God, fulfill your divine calling. Praise God that God will, he that had begun a good work in you, he will perform it until the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And we thank God for the favor of God being released upon his people today Amen. in this time of war, rumors of war, inflation, high prices. Amen. It seemed like 
Everything is against us, yes. but God is for us. Yeah. And the Bible said, if God be for us, who okay. can be yeah. against yes. us? God on my side, we are a majority. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. God will spread a table in the presence of your enemies. Hallelujah. He will pre hallelujah, spread a table in the wilderness. Amen. And provide for his people. Praise God. The Bible says, I have been young and now I am old, but I have not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging for bread. Praise the Lord. Amen. God bless you today. Praise the Lord. We're going to go in prayer at this time. Amen. But today receive God's favor on your life in Jesus name. Amen. Let us pray. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the, the Lord. Lord. We Hallelujah. thank God for that teaching. Praise God. So many times we feel down. Praise God. Are we going through and we don't see a way out? Praise God. We don't think God is with us. Praise God. But the time is coming. Praise God. The time is coming. Praise God. When God is going to show his favor on your life. Praise God. I'm a witness. Praise God. I am a witness. He will bring you out. Praise God. Weeping may endure for the night, but joy is coming in the morning. He's faithful to his word, praise God. Yes. I put my trust in him, praise God. God is a good God. He's been so, so good to me, praise God. I've been through, praise God. I've been through, praise God. But God, hallelujah, always make a way, praise God. He is a good God, praise God. Keep on trusting him. Keep on trusting him. His favor is upon your life. God is good. We thank God for their teaching, praise God. And we thank God for each and every one of you today, praise God. We want to go to God in prayer, praise God. And you can put your knees before the Lord right now, praise God. You know what you stand in need of, praise God. And we want to touch and agree and go to the Lord in prayer right now so you could join me, praise the Lord. Lord, we thank you. Hallelujah, Jesus. We praise you, O oh God. Hallelujah. We magnify your wonderful name today, O oh God. Hallelujah. Giving you thanks and praise, O oh God, for another day, O oh God. Hallelujah. Giving you thanks and praise, O oh God, for keeping us, O oh God. Hallelujah, Jesus. For keeping us in our right mind, O oh Lord God. For waking us up this morning and starting us on our way, O oh God. Hallelujah. For bringing us, hallelujah, to our destination safely, Lord. We thank you, O oh God. For protecting us, oh yes. God, hallelujah, from everything that seems to be going on, hallelujah, in this world right now, hallelujah, for covering us under your blood, oh God, Cover we us. thank you, hallelujah, Jesus, hallelujah. Lord, we thank you for your favor, oh God, hallelujah, we thank you for your promises, hallelujah, we thank you, oh God, hallelujah, for your a great God, hallelujah, yes, Lord. Jesus, hallelujah. there is none like you, oh God, hallelujah. Yes, Lord. We thank you, oh God, for using your man servant, oh Lord, to bring forth the word on this morning, oh God, hallelujah. To encourage your people, oh God, hallelujah, Jesus. We thank you, oh God, because we know, hallelujah, you're alive, oh God, hallelujah. Oh, Lord, we serve you, oh God, hallelujah. You are a mighty and true God, hallelujah. We thank you, oh God, for meeting and supplying all our needs, oh God, hallelujah. Lord, you may not come when we want you to, hallelujah, but you're always, always on time, oh Lord God, hallelujah. We've never seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread, hallelujah. hallelujah. You always show favor and provide, hallelujah, for your children, oh God. We thank you, oh God, because you are an on-time God, hallelujah, that cares for your people, oh God, hallelujah. We thank you, oh God, for touching your people, oh God, hallelujah, that's in need of healing today, oh God, hallelujah. Yes, thank Lord. you for touching their bodies, Touch oh God, them. hallelujah. We put them before you, oh God, hallelujah, oh, Lord. Jesus. We touch and agree with them, oh God, for healing today, Father, in the name of in the Jesus. Name of Jesus, hallelujah. 
for those, oh God, in need of a financial blessing, oh God, hallelujah. Lord, we touch and agree with them, oh God, hallelujah, Jesus. Yes, Lord, Lord, yes, Lord. we know you will supply their needs, oh God, hallelujah. Supply every need. In the name of in the Jesus, name of those Jesus. that need a roof over their head, oh God, hallelujah. Thank supply, you, Lord. Lord God, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, hallelujah. Keep the families together, oh God, hallelujah. Lord, we pray for marriages, oh God, yes. hallelujah, Jesus. Jesus, we pray for the family, oh God, hallelujah, Jesus, Lord, that you would bind us together, hallelujah, with cords of love, hallelujah, Lord, we thank you, oh God, hallelujah, Jesus, help us to come together as one, oh God, hallelujah, to serve you in spirit and in truth, hallelujah, Praise him. hallelujah. Lord, we bless your holy name, yes, oh God, hallelujah. hallelujah, knowing that without you, hallelujah, we are not nothing, hallelujah, without you we will surely fail, oh God, hallelujah, oh, we thank hallelujah. you, oh God, hallelujah, for your grace thank and your you, mercy, Jesus. oh God, hallelujah, thank you, oh God, thank for you, where Lord. you brought us from, hallelujah, Jesus, Lord, thank we Jesus. thank you for salvation, oh God, hallelujah, for deliverance, oh God, hallelujah, Jesus, Jesus hallelujah. Lord, we thank you, oh God, because every time we turn around, you keep making away, oh God, hallelujah. I thank you, oh God, hallelujah, thank you, Lord. hallelujah, because you're an awesome God, hallelujah. You're God, hallelujah, that keeps your word, oh God, hallelujah. You, you're not a man that you should lie, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you, oh God, hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, Lord, we pray for those, hallelujah, that feel too weak thank this you, morning hallelujah. to pray for themselves, oh God, hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Lord, we lift them up before you, Father, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Hallelujah. Lord. Hallelujah. Strengthen them, Lord God. Hallelujah, yes, in the name Hallelujah. of Jesus. Strengthen them, Lord God. Hallelujah. Yes. Touch them, oh God. Hallelujah. Heal them, oh God. Hallelujah. Minister to their needs, oh God. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you, oh God. Let them see your favor upon their lives, oh God. In the name of Jesus, we give you thanks and praise, oh God. Hallelujah. We pray, oh God. Hallelujah. That you remember the people in Ukraine, oh God. Hallelujah. Yes. This war that's going on. Oh, Lord, Lord God, hallelujah. hallelujah. We pray for the people there, Lord God, yes. in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray, hallelujah, for the people here, oh God, yes. for all the crime that is happening, that's going so crazy in this world today, Lord Jesus. Lord, we pray, hallelujah, Jesus, you will take control, Lord God. Thank Have you, Lord. your way, oh hallelujah. God. Bless your people in the midst of this storm, Lord God, hallelujah. Keep a hedge of protection round about us, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. In the name hallelujah. Of Jesus. hallelujah. We thank you for this is the day you have made, oh God, and we are rejoicing. Hallelujah. To be in it, oh God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Lord, we pray you bless those, hallelujah, that are on their way to church, oh yes. God. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Give them a safe traveling journey. Hallelujah, Jesus. Help them to get here safely and to get back to their destiny nation safely, oh God. Bless those that are listening over the air, oh God. Hallelujah. Give them a word, Lord God. Hallelujah. Give them the healing, oh God, that they need, oh God. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. We pray for the man servant that will be ministering to the, your people this morning, oh God. Lord, that you will speak to him, oh God. Lord, that you would use him as an oracle of God, Father. Yes. In Hallelujah. the name of Jesus, to minister to the needs of your people, God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, we pray you'd bless him indeed, oh God. Bless him Hallelujah. Indeed. Hallelujah. Open our ears, oh God. Hallelujah. That we may hear what the Spirit say unto the church, oh God. Lord, we thank you. Hallelujah. We praise you, oh God. Hallelujah. We magnify you. We give you the glory, oh God. The glory belongs to you, oh God. Hallelujah. The glory belongs to you, Lord God. Hallelujah. We give you thanks and praise in all things in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And amen. amen. Yes, we give God thanks and praise, and we ask the Lord to remember all the sick that are among us today. Lord, that you would release the gift of healing 
amen, that will yes, bring Lord healing Jesus. to sick bodies today. For it is by your stripes we, we are, are healed. healed. And we claim healing today the for the people Jesus. of God. Release, O oh God, the power of your presence. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And Hallelujah. of the power of the Holy Ghost. Praise yes, God. Lord, be released Hallelujah. upon your people today. We claim victory in every area of their life. Your yes, word Lord, tells yes, us, Lord, hallelujah, hallelujah, amen, that ye are of God, little children, and greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Praise the Lord. And I pray that God's people would experience his favor. Favor also talks about preferential treatment. Amen. When you thought you was to the back of the line, God will reverse the order and put you at the front of the line. Amen. Hallelujah. So we thank God for that today. Praise the Lord for, amen. Um, the Bible said, for the time will, um, the time to favor Zion, the set time is come. And we thank God for what God is doing in your life today. I want you to receive by faith that which God has promised in his word. And one thing about God, God cannot lie. If he Amen. said it, he, he will do it. it. And if he spoke it, he, he will bring, bring it, it to pass. pass. Amen. And we thank God for that today. I pray that you have a blessed and a wonderful yeah. Sunday today. Um, we have our 12 noon service getting ready to begin in a few minutes. Praise the Lord. We, amen, solicit those, especially the uh, members of the Triumphant Church. Praise the Lord. Amen. Um, your giving is essential at this time, praise the Lord, because um, we had our heating bill came in and um, it's almost triple, praise God, what it was the month before, praise the Lord. I don't know if it's because of the war or what it's because, amen, but um, praise God, those of you, praise God, that might have um, taken a back seat in your giving, we need you, praise God, to really step up, amen, this, um, at this time. Praise God and stand with the people of God. Amen. That we be able to. We have given God thanks all through the pandemic. The Lord has blessed us to be able to pay all of our bills. Amen. amen. And we believe God that we, we, amen, going to be able to continue this. Amen. Praise God. As, the, as we said the scripture earlier, amen. I'm, I have been young and now I'm old. But I've never seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging for bread. I saw Latrice Jenkins, my sister, Pastor Wanda Miranda, amen, and others was on the line. I, I forget your names at this time. Thank you for joining us today. Amen. Praise God, and I pray, praise God, you can join us next week. Join us for the 12 o'clock hour. If you don't have no church to go to, praise the Lord. I uh, got a little time. I myself was not too happy about the virtual church. I wanted, to, I wanted regular church. But sometimes you have to adapt and realize that, amen, some people, we may never get them back in a physical building, but we must love them and um, respect them and treat them the same, amen, God might uh, use them, amen, to be a blessing to the church and to the ministry. So, amen, I thank God for the local church and I continue to pastor the local church, but I also thank God for the virtual church. Amen. Those online. Amen. That keep us and help keep the church going. And I want to let you know that we truly appreciate you. Amen. Praise the Lord. God bless you, Latrice Jenkins. Amen. Praise the Lord. Angelica Sinegla, Pastor Wanda Miranda. Amen. God is good. May God give you favor yes. and give you some preferential treatment. Amen. Amen. You would experience it this week. Praise God in Jesus' name. Yes. Amen. So God bless you. We love you. Navalette yes. Bailey. Amen. Amen. The people of God. Be encouraged. Amen. Amen. Place your hope, your faith, your confidence in God. He won't let you down. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. God bless. God bless amen. everyone. Amen. And amen. Praise the Lord. That's 12 o'clock. Yes. God bless you. Have a wonderful Sunday.
TJ, God bless you. A Wilda Rivera, God bless you. God bless you sing, so I well there. God bless. God bless everyone. Have a blessed day. Amen. Praise you.